Okay, so Amanda Seals leaving the real and her in I'm sorry y'all. Y'all know how I be with this camera. Anyway, Amanda Seals leaving the real and her interview with Snoop Dogg. How I feel about it. First off, I love Amanda Seals. When she was when she decided to join the real or they asked her to join the real, I was kinda shocked. I was like, okay, well, I did I didn't expect them to bring on a person as intellectual and as pro black and you know educated as um Amanda Seals. But I thought if they were knowledgeable enough to choose her, I was like, oh, they really trying to do something, you know, for the culture. And so I hate that it ended like this, but I could see the tension. I could see the tension. And it's so funny. I bet, I bet you they wanted Tiffany from Insecure, not Amanda Seals. That's who they wanted. They wanted Tiffany from Insecure. And yeah, just my hot take on it. Now with her and Snoop, I agree. It is it's time for us to just do our own thing. You know, why not? Like, I mean, it's just so much opportunity out there as far as um, creating your own platforms. And Amanda, like she said in the interview, and I know that was another interview I was watching um, her talk about the situation. She said, you know, she has put herself in a certain position to where she doesn't have to work for money. And, you know, that's very empowering. Empowering. Y'all don't have problems with this word. It's very empowering. And so, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I hate that she won't be on the real anymore because I think we needed somebody to take motherfuckers to task, you know, on, like, serious topics or, you know, like their casual racism or casual dismissal or not acknowledging privilege. And, you know, the real is particularly interesting because, in my opinion, is. It's very black presenting presenting to me, but you know, I don't know, because when you look into the audience, especially now you do see um, more diversity, but it's mainly um, black and brown people. And so it's interesting, it's interesting. So I understand kind of why there's a disconnect between, oh, do we want that level of pro-blackness and, um, you know, sort of a very staunch black political position versus having a black person who is basically, basically all lives matter. I mean, not literally all lives matter, but, you know, they're not going to speak up if it's um, a silly situation or whatever. They're just going to sort of casually go along or, you know, go along to get along. And, you know, Amanda Seal is just not that type of lady. Um, not when it comes to our people. So, you know, that's that. Um, but also, interestingly, the other women on the show, which is why it makes me think of black leaning, all of them have some affinity to, like, blackness. You know what I mean? So... It's really, it's really interesting. So I think that's a bit confusing because once again, it's black dominant seeming, seems like in culture. Um, but yeah, I have to flesh this out more like this thought, but that's a quick thought. I just wanted to get on here and um, talk about Amanda Seals for a minute because I really like what she's doing. I understand her. And another reason I really like her, I study linguistics in, in university and so I understand I think I, I think we probably think and rationalize things similarly because I, if I'm not mistaken her undergraduate degree was in um, linguistics which is interesting and I love black linguists so um, I can imagine from the few courses that I did study in university in linguistics because I only have a minor and she, you know she has a bachelor's in linguistics if I'm not mistaken so the courses that I did take, it, I won't say it changes your, it changes the way you think because you have to be very logical and sometimes you have to be um, 
very objective when you are studying linguistics. It depends on the type of linguistic course you're doing or the methods you're using. You may have to be objective or you may have to be prescriptive or descriptive or whatever, but you know, it breaks down all of the, it breaks down those structures in a way that changes the way you fundamentally see things really, like in so many facets of life. So um, I also think that's a reason that I really um, resonate with Amanda Seals. But, you know, keep doing what you're doing. And, yeah, I'm going to miss you on the real, though. Like, I ain't going to lie. I don't think I was going to, I wouldn't, I don't think I would watch otherwise. But it was still too cookie cutter for her anyway. I was kind of bored with her on there because I was like, why are they talking about soda pop? Which, I mean, they might probably aren't talking about soda pop, but they might as well have. But once again, but that show, I mean, I'm not even that demographic, so, yeah, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think she should do her own show. I think, uh, you know, her her podcast, I think, is going to grow. And, you know, Amanda Seals at this point is a brand. She's doing her thing, and she's doing it well. So keep doing your thing because, after all, like she said, they seeked her out. And that says a lot about her reach her complexity you know so you know big ups big ups hopefully we'll get a chance to meet one day and we can um discuss things but yes that i just want to come on here real quick so yeah like subscribe share this video and talk to you guys soon